If I could read your mind, I would probably be grossed out. Not to project, but... The average person, especially around NYC, where... We're so neurotic, and cold, and polite. Just a bunch of nasty Yankees. I probably would be grossed out. I probably would be disturbed, but I wouldn't be as shocked as you think. I wouldn't snap. I wouldn't go crazy. Because the disgusting things you think of, harming those that you should actually care about, or another time you would care about, what you have this sick pseudo-nihilism, pseudo misanthropy is nothing. You don't channel hatred. Most of you don't even have hatred. You see, to hate someone is a lost art. An art that we don't have anymore. It's no longer a luxury. You have to really make a big risk in order to learn how to do that. Hatred? Such a strong emotion? Someone who is physically given everything that they need, materialistically, but is spiritually inadequate and barren, you can never hate. To hate, you have to be robbed of something or someone you actually value. You have to covet. And you're pretty much given everything. And if there's ever a risk that you'll lose something for good, you'll never get it. It's never going to happen. Hatred is a dying art. And sooner or later, it's going to erode even more. The maggots are going crazy. The dying flesh. The metaphorical flesh of hatred. It's so gone, it's not even funny. Got a lot of people pretending they hate everything. Got a lot of people pretending that they want to hurt people. They have revenge fantasies. Every girl that I've ever known face to face, you know, in person has had revenge fantasies before. And they're pretty gruesome, but I'm not surprised. They're not as special as they think they are. Want to surprise me? Want to get me interested in your little fiendish thoughts? Actually engage in revenge. Enact vengeance. Show me how much you hate those people you think you hate. You know, those people that basically took you in and gave you everything and nothing at the same time. Go ahead, show me that. Surprise me. You won't surprise me. Got a lot of edgy people. Got a lot, a lot of edgy, nasty New Yorkers. Not a damn thing is new under this sun. Under this metropolitan sun. Not a damn thing. That Atlantic skyline? It's a skyline of bullshit artists. They're lying to everyone else, and lying to 